Hello, this is John, N5ID, and today I'm going to show you how to make a portable slash POTA antenna. Uh, the total construction cost of this antenna would be in the $45 range. This Irwin chalk line, which is a pretty high quality chalk line, is about $13. And then this little transformer, which goes in your transformer box, which also comes with an SO239 connector, it's about $11 on eBay. And I will have a link in the description on this video to the seller's uh, eBay store. And the only other cost really is a little bit of hardware and the plastic box to put the transformer in. Uh, the plastic boxes are cheap enough. You can find them for two to three dollars, but shipping is what really uh, eats you up on cost. I bought three plastic boxes and paid more for shipping than I did for the box, the boxes themselves. Now to build this is very simple. You take, of course, the cotton line off the chalk line and you roll up about 60 half, 68 and a half feet of 24 gauge wire onto the chalk line. It's very simple to do. The chalk line's easy to take apart. Now, I did use Remington wire, which I believe is really good wire. You can get that on eBay in a 100, roll, 100 foot roll for around $13. And so all I did is I opened a plastic box up and I, I put an SO239 connector on it. I did use a eye bolt on this side for the antenna. And in a moment, I'm not going to show you the soldering. I'm going to solder this to the SO239 connector. Very simple. He leaves uh, one straight wire to connect into the center connector. And then he does something really neat. He leaves a little loop here, and you know that goes to ground. And then you've got a capacitor to solder between ground and the center connector on the SO239. And then you simply connect this side to the antenna, and you're ready to go. In a moment, we're going to go out and deploy this antenna, and I'll show you how easy it is to deploy. Again, total cost on building this antenna would be around $45, uh, including the chalk line, the plastic box, uh, the little transformer, and the wire. I'm toying around with the idea of actually making these to sell, and I believe if I ordered in bulk, I could build it in the $25 to $30 range and probably sell it for about $65 ship. If you do want one built, you can contact me on my QRZ email address and we can talk about that. Uh, right now, let's go outside and deploy this and then we'll come back in and we'll look at the radio and see how well it works. I've already deployed it once and I was pleasantly surprised. The SWR on 40 meters was basically flat and it was under 2 to 1 on 27, 17 and 15 meters where I, where I tested it at. And the neat thing is, if you decide, I don't want to work 40 meters on this portable operation, I only want to work 20 through 10 meters, then you only have to roll out about 34 feet of wire and you can work 20 through 10 meters. Or if you say, well, I don't like a two to one SWR right now on 20 meters, I'm flat on 40, you can roll up just a little bit of wire maybe take your SWR up to 1.5 to 1 on 40 and then you'll see it drop below 1.5 to 1 on 20. Neat little antenna to play around with. Here's the little transformer box hanging off the side of the house. I just took a piece of trot line basically and I've got a spot on the eave of the house that I tied the little piece of line to and then tied the other end to the transformer and this is really simple folks all I'm going to do is start to roll this out I'm going to hook it out unfortunately the tree that I'm going to walk to to hook the other end to the chalk line is in the direction of the sun 
so that's not going to show up real well on the video so you're just going to have to trust me on this I'm going to take this chalk line and I'm going to start walking towards a tree 68 and a half foot away and I've already got another piece of line in the tree that you can deploy this thing in just a few minutes and be on the air and I'm only going to be about eight feet off the ground of course you can get it up much higher the problem is the area that I live in is flat farming uh, it's a flat farming area and there's not a lot of trees here and so I'm going to a crate myrtle tree 68 and a half foot away and so I'll only be up about eight feet off the ground but we'll go back into the shack and see how well this antenna works I'm back in the shack and I have the antenna hooked up thought I'd just get in the middle of the 40 meter band and I'm not sure of a power rating on this antenna uh, I believe it could easily be used with 50 watt sideband or CW I definitely would not go over 100 watts but for most POTA slash portable operations most people are going to be uh, under 25 watts to begin with and right now I've got the radio set on 20 watts and I want to key up look at that the meter is just barely moving I I didn't even bother to put an analyzer on it the SWR is really good and the great thing is uh, let's go over to 20 meters and yeah the SWR is a little higher there it's a little below two to one the great thing is with this antenna I can roll up a little bit of wire and tweak my SWR with it for whatever band I am working and that makes it really nice let's look at 17 meters just a little over 1.5 to 1 and we'll look at one more band 20 meters just a little bit under two to one and I do believe the higher you get off the ground the SWR will be better again we're only eight feet off the ground but this is a great little antenna for portable operation and again if you just want to work 23 10 meters instead of stringing out the entire length of the wire you can just go out 34 feet or so with it and have it strung up in a few minutes it takes me less than five minutes to put this antenna up folks and one of the reasons that I decided to work on a little portable antenna even though I really don't work POTA or portable I got tired of seeing the ridiculous prices uh, for some plastic and for some wire I think it's ridiculous uh, these prices that are being charged I, I know uh, this is not a vertical of course you could uh, probably string 34 foot of it, of it up in a vertical configuration and, and I know it's not one of these little portable things that you set up on a tripod but I believe it's going to outperform a vertical all day long I've done a lot of testing over the years with antennas and the best antenna that I've found as far as a wire antenna goes is a horizontal loop they work great uh, after that maybe an extended double zip works well and after that just a simple dipole and basically what this antenna is is an in-fed half-wave dipole now we're going to look at a comparison here on 7230 between my full wave loop antenna which is up about 25 feet off the ground and the little in-fed half wave which is only up eight feet I would expect to see quite a bit of difference the loop has more gain to begin with than a dipole or an in-fed it probably has about three to four dB of gain considering that it's an 80 meter loop 260 foot of wire strung around the backyard in a circular slash stop sign configuration so right now we are on the loop I'm going to expect to see anywhere between one to two S units of difference in a signal maybe even a little more than that but again let's keep in mind I'm only up eight feet and let's also keep in mind that the loop does have gain over a dipole to begin with and let's also remember when we're operating portable 
generally we're going to have some type of a compromise set up to begin with whether it be a little 17 foot vertical whip or or some type of shortened wire antenna and so i'm going to turn the volume up here no, he, he's straight up. He's doing right it. Right now we're on the loop. Uh, he leases it off now. Uh, there's a guy that's There's the in-fed, the only eight feet off the ground. Uh, uh, the, uh, oh, what's that? Financial Back to thing. the loop. Uh, the it has the green sign. Green sign. Again, we're on the loop. But anyway, go ahead. But anyway, in bed. She's out here once a week. Brings him cookies and all that. And uh, also, I know from around town that he's worth that because he ain't never spent anything he's ever, uh, ever. Uh, in bed. He took care of his wife and. Uh, he brought his wife out here. She just wanted the radio from their kitchen. And so we do see a difference. I was tuning around the bands, and I was seeing anywhere from one to two S units of difference, which I did expect. But what a great little antenna that you can build for portable use, put up in a few minutes, and then roll it up. I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to take this antenna down, and it's going to take me three or four minutes. I'm going to... I'm going to roll the wire up on the chalk line reel and take the little transformer box down. I'm going to put it back in my little go bag and I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video, I ask that you would subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless.